Welcome back to daytime, everyone. If you're looking to plan your vacation for 2012, we have got some great suggestions for you. Casey Wall, author of The Girls Getaway Guide, is here with the hottest trends in travel, and we are going to kick it off with Wales. Wales. You know, last year London was on our list because they're hosting the Olympics. This year Wales is topping the list. You've got 641 castles, mm. 750 miles of coastline, Three national parks and one very happy royal couple who this live in is Wales. True. Yes. <laughs> who you can just tell you're coming and maybe they'll meet you for tea. Right, <laughs> right. It will schedule you. Um, but some of the cool things the Wales or the Welsh government this year in May is actually going to open up the Wales Coastal Path. So it's going to be the only country in the world where you can hike the entire coast really? of Wales. Yeah. Oh, how beautiful. Very cool. And then in, uh, they're actually going to host the first 2012 Olympic Games. So oh, it's going to be a ladies' soccer event in Wales. Excellent. Yeah. Tons of stuff to do. They have lots of festivals, mud festival, beer festival, hmm. man oh. versus horse festival, um, and lots of things to do. Everything from riding one of the world's top wooden roller coasters to kayaking to dolphin watching. Okay. So, so you're going to be busy while you're there. Yeah. That's right. And it's a very green country, too. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go to Cuba. Cuba. You know, I know you've been to Cuba. I've been to Cuba, yes. yes. And so I've been dying to go. A lot of us Americans haven't been able to go yet, but they are loosening the, the travel ban. So you can go right now with a guided group through a religious organization or a institution of higher learning. Still keeping it relatively expensive, but it's been a place that we haven't been able to go for years. And I hear it's incredible. It really is. It's got lots of history. The people are really nice. The beaches are pristine. And it's definitely put it on your list because you'll love it. And the food? It's outstanding? Yeah. No. The food oh. is not outstanding. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> not a lot of spices in Cuba, believe it or not. But uh, but but Cuba, but it's probably got much better since I was there. But really, uh, the food was rather bland at the oh. place I was at. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They just didn't have the same kind of spices that we're used to. Yeah. But okay. now, probably much better. Yeah. yeah. And it's relatively close for us. Yes. So, so yeah, it's a, just a little jump. Nothing. Yeah. Definitely. Let's talk about South Korea. South Korea. They actually have two events this year that are making it a must tra must see travel destination. First is the World Expo which is happening this summer. 50 countries are coming and some of the coolest things that you'll ever get to do. One is you can play a giant pipe organ with your smartphone. Mm. Oh no. Yeah. And the other thing is, <laughs> like that could be game. bad. That could be <laughs> really bad. <laughs> the extreme climate experience where it actually like reenacts an immersive Antarctic blizzard. So the best thing of being in a blizzard without being in a blizzard. So yeah. very cool things to do. And they are actually in the middle of their Visit Korea campaign. It's a great value. It's having greater access for international tourists and greater prices, too, which we always like. Oh, and yes. you will get great food there. Yes, you yes, will get you great will. food in Korea. Yes. Absolutely. How about the Netherlands? The Netherlands, and I know you both have been to Amsterdam. Um, yeah, but they have, beautiful. Yeah, it's one of my favorite cities. Is it really? Yeah, it really is. Yeah, definitely a must-see. But they have three events this year that are making it a must-see. First is the Once in a Decade um, f Horticulture event. They call it Flora Aid. Oh, I bet that is beautiful. Are there a lot of tulips by any chance? <laughs> There's like a million <laughs> flowers, tulips. Right. Yeah, you can actually like buy flowers, you know, in this like auction. Tons of things to do, and they actually have performances, and I think like 900 performances. It's oh. just wow. incredible. It only happens every 10 years, so you have to go if you're mm -hmm. into flowers. Okay. They also have the Holland Dance Festival, so if you're into dances, like 90 performances. It's just incredible. It actually takes place over three weeks. And then they have the 25th TFAF Art and Antique Fair. Oh. So, yeah, this is big for art collectors, but even if you're a non-collector, you can go and see some like exceptional works of art that you're not going to see on the museum tour. Is now a good time to book? Is, is this a, a really great time to get good deals? Yeah, I think now is. You know, once you get too close to spring break, that's when you're going to see prices kind of, you know, springboard a little bit. So mm. now is a good time to go ahead and book your tickets. And is there one day in particular that it's cheapest to fly? <laughs> you would know. <laughs> you go. Every I do. Time. I book my tickets on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Okay. I monitor those days pretty closely. Yeah, Tuesdays are supposed to be pretty darn good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to fly on Sunday. That's one of the busiest days of the week. Yeah, but even booking your tickets, you know, during the middle of the week, don't do it on a Saturday. Everyone's booking their tickets on Saturday, so. Oh. Yeah, keep your costs down. Book on Monday for Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm -hmm. huh. Good yeah. to know. Good to know. <laughs> Casey Wall from the Girls Getaway Guides. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. All right, don't pack your bags and don't go away just yet because there's more daytime just around the corner.